Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I will tell you first off before we even get started, I'm sorry for the video quality. Um, my good camera, the batteries are dead, and I'm having to record this with my new iPad uh, that I got via your iPad for free.com. But anyways, today I wanted to show you guys how to uh, root over the air gingerbread for the Droid X. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. Um, for some reason or another, they accepted the upgrade, and uh, they're finding out that they cannot root the over-the-air upgrade. Uh, so I just want to show you guys how to get to rooted gingerbread uh, 4.5.596, and it's actually really easy. But if you've accepted the over-the-air update, you will have to SBF your phone back to Froyo. Um, go to the link in the description that I'm going to put there. That'll give you the SBF tutorial that I've made and also to give you all the files that you need. Uh, the next thing you're going to need to do to your phone after you've SBF'd it is uh, root your phone via Z4 root and then install the Droid 2 bootstrapper and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys links to those files as well. Once you're back to stock and you've rooted and installed Droid 2 bootstrapper you're going to want to go to the link in the description and download um, you're going to want to download the two-part patched pre-rooted gingerbread and it is the latest build. It's, I mean it is the official over-the-air build but it is pre-rooted because as of now there's no way to manually root 4.5.596 uh, so let's go ahead and get started um, what you'll want to do is See, um, you can see here that I'm in Froyo. You're going to want to open up D2 Bootstrapper and hit Bootstrap Recovery. Go ahead and allow root access and click Success. And hit Reboot Recovery. Now this is going to boot you into Clockwork Recovery where you're going to flash Part 1 and Part 2 of the stock rooted gingerbread. This is the easiest way to get to rooted gingerbread. Like I said, there is no way to root the over there upgrade. You will have to SBF back to Froyo in order to get there. Okay, so on your phone, you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card and select that. Uh, the way we're going through that menu is uh, up and down with the volume, select with the camera, and go back with the back button. So we're going to select install zip from SD card. You might want to wipe data factory reset if you're coming from any type of ROM. Um, I'm sorry, you won't be able to come from any type of ROM. No matter what ROM you're on, uh, you will have to SPF back to stock Froyo in order for this to work. So just disregard that. Anyways, go ahead and select install zip from SD card. Go to choose zip from SD card. and find your two files that you downloaded from the link in the description okay so you will have a blur version 2.3.340 uh, M810 Verizon US and you'll have a part one and a part two you need to flash both of these in the same clockwork session, so go ahead and flash part one. Go down to yes, install, select that. Okay, so it's going to do its thing. Um, it will take several minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause right here, and I'll come back when it finishes. Okay guys, so when it's finished, it'll say install from SD card complete. And from that point, you will want to... Uh, so you want to go back, and you'll want to go to install zip from SD card. Make sure you do not reboot until you flash the second part. So install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And then find that part two file. 
and because I download mine straight to my phone, it's always in my download folder, which it's really easy to find that way. Okay, so now we're going to select that part two. This one's going to flash a whole lot quicker. Go ahead and select yes, install. And you see that it's already it's going a lot quicker. Uh, while we have a second, I just want to show you guys this neat phone case here. Um, if you'd like to buy a phone case like the one that you see here, head on over to my website. I'm selling these one for six dollars I'm sorry one for seven dollars two for twelve and that is going towards website development and new devices to cover so this should only take a few more seconds this is patching the system so that you have root if it takes too long I will edit it out and it's done okay so from this point you're gonna to want to hit the back button and select reboot system now the first reboot is gonna take uh, up to 10 minutes so don't freak out if it doesn't boot right up uh, if you did it right you're gonna have a red Motorola logo that means you're on gingerbread congratulations you are on gingerbread and you'll see the droid eye pop up if for any reason it goes into a boot loop, you're going to want to pull your battery and uh, power back up by hitting home and power. That'll put you into stock recovery. Uh, from there, you will hit these two buttons here, the up and down volume, to get into the stock recovery menu. Once in the stock recovery menu, you would select wipe data factory reset. But if you've just finished SBFing your phone, and it booted up fine after the SBF, then you probably will not run into any boot loops. Uh, but like I said, it does take several minutes on the first boot. So just be patient with it. Of course, once you feel it rumble, then you know you're about to boot. So I'm going to go ahead and let it boot up, and then I just want to show you the super user APK so that you know that you're rooted and that this method does work. And also, I just wanted to give uh, Team Black Hat credit for this root method. They are the ones who uh, released it. P3 Droid uh, is the guy who came up with the root. Okay, guys, so you see already that you're booting into Gingerbread. Of course, it's going to be laggy at first. Let's see. I had put it in airplane mode because I did not want the over-the-air to come through automatically after I SBF the phone because then I'd have to re-SBF it. So that's something that I would suggest just first thing, put it in airplane mode so that you don't accidentally update to stock 3.0. Okay, so from here, you'll open up your app drawer and head on down to the S's and you see your your super user APK, you are now rooted and on gingerbread. So guys, that's how you do it. Head on over to droidmoderx.wordpress.com for all the latest in Droid X modification news. And if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel. Uh, support the website by buying one of these nice cases here. And uh, thanks guys. Intoxicated by